I would like to invite on stage uh, Volokom Tanzania Managing Director, Philip Bismir, if you could join us. Karib sana 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 sana. The focus of today is on Volokom network performance and uh, an emphasis on the 5G. So I was just reading the Volokom annual report and it looked like you still have 2G's network, about 3,420 of them. Uh, 3G, uh, almost an equal number and a good number of 4G network as well. And uh, now that we are going into the 5G network, what is the reason for Vodacom continuing to invest uh, on the 5G when we still have some sites that are not covered even in 4G and 3G? Uh, thanks for that question. So there's uh, a few things that uh, I think uh, I want to sort of put across on this question. One is that technology evolves now way back when this uh, industry was starting, we were rolling out 2G uh, technology sites. With time, 3G came, then uh, then 4G, now with 5G, and there's already whispers that uh, in some parts of the world, um, there's some R&D work going on on 6G. So this will continue to evolve. But what happens is that we keep, we continue to, we build on top of, of the other, in other words, we layer it so 2G sites will carry 3G uh, capability and then over those we put 4G capability and then we overlay 5, 5G capability. Network uh, equipment manufacturers are now you know uh, manufacturing sort of uh, all-in-one radios or capability that we can put on a site so in to answer the question probably a lot more directly all the technologies will continue to exist because we still have customers that have those handsets for example 2g handsets there's still lots of them in tanzania these customers that have 3g handsets 4g handsets and 5g is now coming in what you tend to see is that when these new technologies are introduced the cost of devices starts off very high so today you know getting a uh, a 4G device, you're talking of maybe an entry level 4G device is 200, 250,000. Um, but when you talk about 5G, uh, some of these devices are in the millions of shillings. So it's there's still a big barrier to entry there. So we will continue to uh, have 4G um, customers, but we'll also continue to have uh, 3G and 2G customers. The, the direction on our side is to continuously migrate customers upwards to higher technologies because they get a better experience. But um, there's obviously a number of things we need to continue working on, which is how do we make devices um, affordable for, um, for, for, the, for, for our customers and for ordinary Tanzanians. Tanzania is a very young uh, country in terms of population. Uh, um, if you look at the demographics, so more and more young people are coming into, um, uh, are becoming of age and they can start using services. So we need to cater for these young people as well. And the more people we bring onto the network, the more we need to continue investing. So there's still quite a lot of work that we need to do in terms of infrastructure um, <clears throat> and making sure that we keep up with uh, uh, the demands that uh, customers um, exert on the network. Sandy Sana, Philip. Uh, to be fair, we wanted to make sure that we get as many questions from the audience. Uh, Buza, you could ask your question now. All right, uh, my hope you can hear me, Jones. Loud and clear. Thanks. Thanks for this session. Um, the way I understand 5G, if you'll correct me, is that there's at least three types. Uh, the, the low, the mid, and the, the high band. Uh, 5G. I wanted to know which one is Vodacom implementing here in in, in Tanzania. We we deployed uh, 5G on two spectrum. Um, we acquired a spectrum of 3,500 megahertz that we started deploying 5G on that spectrum. It's a popular spectrum uh, across the world for 5G. Also, noting that uh, we uh, recently acquired. Uh, further spectrum from the TCRA auction of 2300 megahertz that is also a spectrum that is capable to do 5G and we are also deploying 5G on that spectrum Asante sana 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 as we are one minute to the closure Philip for the closing remarks 
Thank you very much, uh, uh, Jones, for um, curating and uh, um, holding this together for us. Uh, Santeni Sana to the listeners, uh, our customers, and Tanzanians of who are interested in uh, um, what we uh, have to offer as Vodacom Tanzania, those who are interested in technology, those who are interested in uh, uh, bridging the digital divide and deepening financial inclusion, basically those who are interested uh, in the progress of Tanzania when it comes to um, technology, uh, digitalization, digitization, digitalization, financial inclusion, um, innovation, um, and prosperity. But I think today, four key things stood out for me. Uh, a lot of interest in uh, network availability across the country, across various technologies. A lot of discussion around 5G, um, and we take the feedback. I think there is a, a clear ask for us to increase our investment, to increase our our, um, our availability and coverage on 5G, uh, but also to make the, those products um, affordable, uh, be it 5G or other um, internet uh, uh, data products. So th thank you very much. So it's those five things, four things, network availability, 5G, affordability and inclusion, and we'll continue to work on them. Thank you. Asante Nisana, everyone. <music>